Good evening, good evening. Hard to interrupt people while they're eating and drinking. But interrupt I must. My name is Richard Sosiski and I'm on the Foundation Board of Directors. I'm the immediate past president and I'm the Create a Jewish Legacy uh, Committee Chair. It's my pleasure to welcome you here tonight. What a night. Thanks for coming to this CJL celebration event. In addition to hearing from a number of our friends who have chosen to remember Jewish agencies, synagogues, and federation in their estate plans, our event also includes a fond tribute to the memory of our first foundation president, Michael Donziger. Mike would feel proud of the legacy he left here, and we look forward to many years of continuing to honor his blessed memory. When asked by rabbis about sermons or invocation or other speaking opportunities, I always offer this advice, blessed are the brief, they'll be invited back. And as my dinner chairs have kept reminding me about my role tonight, a good MC has a good beginning, a good ending, and keeping the two as close together as possible. And my last rule of public speaking is never, ever, ever follow Lori Dubow on a platform for up to 72 hours. As you hardcore baseball fans know, in less than two weeks, hard to believe, in less than two weeks, pitchers and catchers will report for spring training. Now, all of us who knew Mike, Mike loved baseball, and he loved the team formerly known and to many always known as the Brooklyn Dodgers. Springtime gave him hope. It gave him hope because this would finally be the year for the Dodgers. It was also the only time of year that the Dodgers would be near or tied for first place. Autumn was also another favorite time for Mike. Just like his beloved Dodgers, Mike sat on the couch and watched the World Series. Now, Mike couldn't help the Dodgers, but he was very successful in helping our Jewish community, and I expect many of you are here tonight thanks to Mike. Tonight we have a lot to celebrate, but first I'd like to thank the Jacksonville Jewish Center and its lay and professional leadership for hosting us this evening and allowing us to use their beautiful facility. Not quite 20 years ago, when I was president of the Federation, our board quite properly decided that we needed a Jacksonville Jewish Foundation. And we knew that the Jewish Foundation had to be the plan giving arm for all the agencies and all the synagogues in town. Mike was our first president, and Elliot Horvitz, our director emeritus, was his first executive director. Elliot's over here, and, and they were, for those of you involved in those early years, they were really quite the dynamos. And from a standing start less than 20 years ago, the foundation now either manages, owns, or has promises to it of over $60 million. We're not here just to honor Mike. We're here to recognize and honor all of you who are participating in the Creative Jewish Legacy Initiative and who have given already to organizational endowment funds. To those of you who have not yet signed a declaration of intent to leave money to Jewish causes, we hope to encourage you and inspire you as well. In many discussions I've had with some of you regarding planned giving, more than once I've heard, don't worry. My kids, my grandkids, they'll do the right thing after I'm gone. Some cases this may even be correct. But if supporting agencies are important to you in your lifetime, that you write checks to them in your lifetime, why take a chance? Leave your legacy and let your kids follow in your footstep of that tzedakah or pick their own areas for tzedakah. One example, in the book of Genesis, we are told that Joseph's father, Israel, was brought to Egypt and reunited with Joseph, who by then was the, quite the high-ranking official in Egyptian society. The family lived well, but as Israel was dying, he pleaded, he begged with his son, Joseph, take me back to the land of Canaan when I'm gone and bury me in the cave of Machpelah with my forefathers. Joseph agreed. Israel died. His son had him embalmed over 40 days, or, or mummified, and he was mourned for 70 days just as if he were a prominent Egyptian. Not really a traditional thing to do. Joseph then led a great caravan 
which to all observers thought he was a prominent Egyptian. So while Israel was ultimately laid to rest in the cave of Machpelah with his forefathers, his son did not follow exactly what Israel had in mind. But, of course, this won't happen to you because your children are all perfect, just like mine. Why take a chance? Create your own legacy, let foundation execute it for you, and we'll honor your intent and you'll know exactly what you get. A lot of heart went into preparing tonight's program. Tada Roba, special thanks to all the people who have made this event so memorable. Thank you to our sponsors, thank you to our stars, and those volunteers who are involved in putting together this inspiring and we hope very entertaining program. Thank you to our dinner chairs, our singers, video makers, you'll all see, all volunteers and all oh so special. Tonight is a way of our community getting together to say thank you to each other. Toda roba. Thank you for making the choice to create your Jewish legacy. Now they say love is more important than money, but so far you can't pay your bills with a hug. Our agencies and synagogues are all raising money annually every year to keep the lights on and to provide important services to the community that we all depend on. In fact, our federation and major funding partner since inception is currently running its annual campaign. This weekend is Super Sunday. You may have seen the emails and in the paper. So please come. Please come and help if you can. If you're called, please close your gift. Annual fundraising is important, but the vital legacy work done by the foundation and our partners is critical to providing for these agencies in the future. I'd be remiss if I failed to mention that we've been blessed with a number of community angels these past years who have allowed us to develop and grow our Create a Jewish Legacy campaign. From helping to get our matching grants from JIFNA a few years ago to your continued support to help maintain and grow the CGL program, your support has been invaluable. You are making an impact by providing stable funding for Foundation to do its critical work. You're all too modest to be asked to be mentioned by name, but you know who you are and from the bottom of a grateful heart. We thank you. Our major event sponsor tonight is Foundation's long-term investment advisor, Capital Analyst. Our local investment advisor, Cheryl Bordelon, and her colleagues are here tonight, and we ask them to stand and be recognized. Cheryl. Thank, thanks so much. Well, on with the program. Now, there is method to our madness. When you see the videos of each synagogue and each agency, they'll appear in the order they were founded, oldest to youngest. What you'll see was put together by volunteers with love and a lot of effort who took time away from their families, some new families, to do it. So come on along with us. Come along as we celebrate our past, applaud our present, and secure our future. <laughs> 